Hey guys, it's Sarah today, and I don't know if you've been keeping up with our channel or not, but I've been trying to post two videos a day, and I know the past couple days I have been. So, I'm just letting you guys know that we should have new content every day by 7.30 or 8. Um, so, just be on the lookout. So, today I'm doing another painting tutorial. And today is going to be a lighthouse with like a beach. I'm just doing this off of memory, so hopefully it turns out good, but I don't know. We'll see. Now, the colors, woo, all my colors just fell over. The colors I'm going to be using are black, which is just going to be a little tiny bit of black. A light, ooh, this won't close. A light blue for part of the water. A blue, I call it middle blue. I don't know if you've seen any of my other painting tutorials. Also for the water. A dark blue. I'll line these up. A dark blue, which I've used before on another painting tutorial. A white, which is a very common color, and there's nothing to say about white. I use it on every painting that I do, pretty much. And then for this one, you're going to need kind of an unusual color color that you don't see every day, um, and that's gray. So that's the color I'm using. If you don't have a gray, then hopefully you have a black and a white. You can just mix a little bit of white with some black, and that'll give you a gray. And just keep adding white and black, black to make it darker, white to make it lighter. Now, what I'm going to start by doing is kind of painting my background. Oh. Say hello, Lily. Lily's in the background. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to start by painting my background, like I said. I'm going to do the ocean kind of at the top, which you would never really do. And then I'm going to kind of do some rocks kind of at the bottom, placing my lighthouse on top of those rocks. So, I'm going to start with my rocks. By the way, I'm um, using an artist paintbrush set. You can get this on... Um, Amazon and it's a really good deal so I'm just gonna start with a number 15 brush here and I'm gonna start with my rocks like I said I'm just gonna come down here and paint up down side down up down side what are you painting? a lighthouse with some rocks off of memory cuz I have I just, just, I saw this in my room. I was like, I think I could probably paint something like that. So I'm just doing some rocks at the bottom now. Some of these like gray, just kind of like different shapes. I am not trying to make this look super realistic. This is more of like an artsy painting. So just going in with some gray um, at my bottom here. And I'm just going to come in. That's my tea, Lily. Don't drink my tea. Don't drink my tea. Okay. So I'm just going to keep doing some of these little rocks. And I'm going to kind of make them like rock shapes, hopefully. Hopefully you can kind of see that these are trying to be rock shapes. All they want to be when they grow up is rocks. <laughs> okay. So now that I've gotten like my little rock section here, I'm going to come in with little spots of like white and I'm just going to kind of place that in there and then little spots of like black just to give this like texture or like a nice look. And then once I get that just kind of smeared on black and white all in the picture, like I've shown. I'm gonna come back with a layer of gray. And I'm just gonna come and get that black and white kind of spread around so that it looks more natural. And I like this, but I do want it to all kind of go one way. So I'm just gonna come in and come and do strokes all kind of going one way way. Alright, 
how does that look, guys? Um, I hope you enjoy it. So, like, this is what mine is looking like. And I'm really liking, like, the way it looks. So, you're just going to take your brush from here. And you're going to rinse it off. Guys, if we can get to a thousand views pretty soon, then we can get merch. Just letting you know. I'm super excited. So I'm going to take my dark blue. And I'm going to start at the top. And just kind of doing my sunset. I've We've shown a light colored sunset. This is exactly the same. Starting with a dark blue at the top. Coming in, I'm using my middle blue now and blending that with my dark blue. You get way faster at sunsets as you go. They're way easier after you've done three or four. I've probably done like 10 sunsets in the past like three weeks. Ten. Light blue, 10 or more. <laughs> I've done a lot guys. So coming to the bottom, ooh, I'm gonna get a little more of that middle blue. And then I'm going to come at the bottom and get a light blue, blending that. There's a video that we posted, like I said, that we showed how to like blend with sunset. So you guys can go watch that if you are having trouble with blending. Now I want to go across my rocks. Um, you could do your rocks after you do your ocean. It's up to you. I wanted to do them before just so that I had the layout of it. So I knew where I could stop with my blue. And I'm just gonna take this light blue and kind of go in. It was easy to make the rock line, so it should be easy to stay on that line. And I'm just gonna make this go just as I've planned. So like, staying on that line, not trying to get anywhere like too low, not trying to stay too high because you don't want a layer of white in between that. So it would probably be better for you guys to do the ocean first if you're not experienced enough to do this, if you are really like super beginner. Now, if you do happen to get some gray into your blue, like I've seen like right here, you can rinse your brush off lightly and then come back in with your gray and do those strokes one more time and you can just make those lines again. Lily's are right here. Make those lines more defined maybe this time. And then just go over once more with that. Okay. Okay, that looks nice, at least to me. So now, I've got that layer. Now we're gonna do our lighthouse. So you're gonna take your gray and your white now. And I'm gonna move my palette right here. Hopefully it doesn't stain like my painting. Ooh, oopsie. That was a lot, but that's okay. Then I'm going to take a scoop of white and mix that with my gray. Because I want this to be a lighter gray than my rock gray because rocks tend to be um, darker than the actual light house. This is supposed to be more white than anything. So, I've got a light gray it looks like it looks pretty light it needs to be a little lighter oopsie it's getting on my painting that's not good <laughs> oh my god a paper towel see if this if something like this happens you can just take the paper towel dab it the way of your lines now it's gonna take off a little bit of that paint but you can always just take your brush and rinse it off Take your dark blue, come at the top, 
blend that down just to cover just like you did and then taking your middle blue right here and blending that down as well and it covers it right up so just in case you make a mistake like that um, there's a simple way to fix it if you were wondering all right now I'm going to start with my lighter gray and come in right I'm gonna make little marks so I've got right here right here so I'm making marks and that's the part of my lighthouse so this is gonna come up here this is a simple part just be sure not to get out of your lines. Alright, so I've been a little bit quiet, but as I come up here, this is the simple, simple part. It will get a little bit more tricky, but it's still a good, nice beginner painting. So be sure it doesn't come in at the top. That's one problem I've seen done with this painting. Just don't get, just don't come in at the top, okay? Okay, now you can just wipe this off, wipe it on your um, apron if you have one. Uh, you can rinse it off, but I don't recommend rinsing, you don't have to. And I'm going to take the back of my brush, dip it in the black, this is where that black mainly comes in, and to the side, I'm going to make a little, kind of like a mark. Now that I've kind of gotten that little um, hole where they're going to see, I'm going to take the tip of my brush again, dip it in that black, and make a little line. That looks pretty nice. And then I'm going to come up making it like a half. And then do a little bit right there. This is kind of like a nice little lighthouse. I mean, I don't know if it'll work to your taste, but it's just a nice painting to do in your free time. And you guys can make it look however you want. This is just mine. I'm trying to post a painting video every day. I'm sure I posted one today. This one is going to get posted a day after I actually filmed it because I already posted my two videos for today. All right. So I've got. It looks 
like a hat. Little nice cute hat. On my screen it's a lot skinnier than it is on yours or on this filming screen but I mean that's okay. Now I'm just gonna come in with a little bit of blue and some more dark blue blending this one more time. my blue at the top and you just can fix this however you'd like so I hope you guys like this lighthouse tutorial if you did please comment down below just saying I, I liked it or whatever that would make me happy so it does look a little weird right there I'm probably gonna fix that so I will see you next time bye